Welcome to Practice Better. In this tutorial, we will go over adding multiple tax rates in an invoice, which can be applied to individual line items. For this example, we will start by adding a default tax rate to the portal to fully illustrate this feature. You can set this up by navigating to the gear icon at the top of Practice Better, and then selecting Invoice and Payment Settings. If you don't need a default tax rate, you can skip this step. You can set your default tax rate under the Currency and Taxes section. I've added my default tax rate here with a rate of 13%. However, you can set this rate to whatever amount that is applicable to your practice. Default tax rates will be applied to all of your invoice line items unless it is overridden by a specific setting in your services, packages, or programs. They can also be overridden manually in your invoices, which I will show you. For now, you can select Save Changes when you are done. Let's create an invoice together now by navigating to My Practice, Billing and Payments. In the Invoices tab, we'll click on the red Fast Action icon in the bottom right hand corner and select Create Invoice. If you're on the team plan, a prompt will appear to select the team member as well as your client. Once you have selected your client, the Create Invoice window will open. In here, you can edit the invoice header, date, and details, as well as add a summary. As this is already configured in my settings, we will leave this as is. Under Item Description, we'll add a B-Complex supplement that I've created in my system. You'll notice that when I add this, the default tax rate will populate here at the bottom. We'll now select Done. To add a custom tax rate for a line item, we'll select Add Line Item, and then Enter the line item. I'll use an ebook that I've created, and again, the price will populate automatically. Keep in mind that the default tax rate will also apply to this line item automatically. So in order to edit and customize this line item's tax rate, we'll click on the Add Tax option. In the pop-up box, we'll give our custom tax rate a name and indicate what percentage the tax rate will be. I will name this Custom Tax Rate, and I'll give it a tax rate of 5%. And then from here, I will click Save when the step has been completed. You will see a prompt once you select Save. This prompt will let you know that you have multiple tax rates enabled in the invoice. Once you've added a custom tax rate, default and or invoice level tax rates will be removed from any additional line items you add afterwards. Tax rates will need to be adjusted individually for the next line items. We'll select Got It. And then from here, we will select Done. You will notice that the invoice now populates with the B-Complex supplement and the Nutrition and You ebook that I had created earlier, with both tax rates applied. Once you have added multiple tax rates in an invoice, tax rates will be calculated and displayed at the bottom of your invoice accordingly. Once you've added all your line items and tax rates, you can adjust your payment options below if needed. You can also review your invoice details, and when you're ready, you can process the payment immediately or send it to your client. For this example, I will select Send. When I do this, the client will then receive an email notification of their invoice and if you have a Stripe or Square account linked to the platform, they can process their payment directly from the email notification or by logging into their client portal. I will select Send. Once completed, the invoice will appear in your Billing and Payments section. This concludes our video on creating multiple tax rates in an invoice. Please check out our Help Center for more information and resources.